Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get dramatic images using high speed sync with off camera flash to produce images that look like these. Now, before I actually go out and shoot and, and show you all how to use high speed sync with off camera flash, there are a few fundamental things you need to know. The first thing is what is high speed sync? So for your DSLRs and all your SLRs, typically you will have a native sync speed in which your camera can capture flash when you're hooked up to an off-camera flash unit. So um, typically in most cameras, it's about one two hundredth of a second or one two fiftieth of a second. And anything above that, the camera just will not register the flash that you're putting out, right? So the shutter won't stay open long enough or for that specific amount of time to capture the actual flash strobe going off. What high speed sync does is it syncs your camera with your off camera flash so that even if you're at one two thousandth of a second, it'll sync that strobe to when your camera actually captures that shot. And so it makes for more for, for balanced exposure. Something that's pivotal to understand in order for this to work is you need to be able to know how to shoot manual mode. Now, if you don't know how to shoot manual mode, that's fine. Still watch the video, but I'll post a video down in the description um, that I'm planning to make showing you all how to shoot in manual mode so you can feel more comfortable with that so that when you're out shooting with off-camera flash and you're balancing both, it's easier for you to do. Now, one other thing that you'll need is a camera that can shoot in high-speed sync, which is most modern cameras today are able to shoot in high-speed sync mode. And you'll need a flash unit that supports high-speed sync. If you're trying to counterbalance the sunlight, you, you may need a stronger strobe, right? 200 watts may not be it. I personally use the AD400. I wish I had an AD600 in order to get a little bit more power, but 400 may be enough. Um, but just make sure whatever flash unit that you're using has high speed sync enabled. But enough of me chattering, uh, let's go outside. Today I'm using the, the 8400 Pro with the 32 inch uh, softbox. And we're, we're trying to balance the ambient light, which is the light, the natural light that you see out here with the flash to get really dramatic look with your model. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your ambient light is set up to where you can still see the color and all the details from behind your subject, right? And so, and you'll see, take this photo, the subject's still a little bit in shadow and you can see the sun coming in from the side there. And so that's exactly where we want it to be, right? If you turn your shutter speed down a little bit, you can see how the, the background and the sky is kind of overexposed and it's not really blue. So make sure I've got it at one eight thousandth of a second. My aperture is at 1.2 and my ISO is at 100. So now that we've got our exposure set to where it's supposed to be, I'm gonna get my flash unit. Oh gosh, uh, yeah, so you wanna get your flash unit put on. Um, Desiree, I'm gonna have you slide over just a little bit so that this thing's facing you. So yeah, about there is good. Okay, so I've got my subject there. I've got my flash unit and it's gonna be kind of guessing where you think you want your power to be. And this will come with experience. I'm gonna set it about halfway, right? I'm gonna put it at 132 power or 132nd power. I'm gonna take a shot and it's darker than I want it, right? So I'm gonna turn my power up. Let's go up, it's much darker than I want. So I'm gonna go up to one fourth power, take another shot, a little bit brighter. I'm gonna go up to full power here and take another shot. Good, that's perfect actually. And so now you can see how uh, we've got the ambient light on the subject. The ambient light is still there. You can still see the colors from the background and everything and then our subject is lit. Um, relatively well here. Uh, I'm gonna bring the light a little closer. Actually, step this way just a little bit. Right there, step back a step, right there. And I'm gonna raise this up a little bit to get this out of the shot because I want, and I'm gonna stick this here, get it out of the way. Um, and guys, make sure if you're using a softbox outside, the wind can kind of sometimes take them down. So we'll use a heavier, um, you want to use a heavier light stand, but then also you want to make sure that you're using some kind of sandbag to make sure it doesn't blow all over the place. But okay, it looks like we've got our exposure right. I'm gonna take another shot to make sure we are good. Perfect. Let me take a look. That's good, exactly what we want. 
All right, so I hope this video was helpful to you all. Uh, we did stick around and do a photo shoot. I'll post a link down to the description for that video if you guys want to see some behind the scenes of what the, the photo shoot actually looked like. But if you like this video, make sure you give me a like and share it with someone who may want to see something like this. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.